I am, we are divine source energy. I am, we are the link between planet Earth and the galactic central sun. I am, we are one with the divine feminine and divine masculine spirit of the universe. I am, we are fully protected by the highest realms of source. Today we gather as a powerful group or individual of light beings and star children that we are to transmute the dark imprint of the fall of Atlantis. We call upon all beings of light, our galactic brothers and sisters, the angelic realms, the galactics of the light, ascended masters, goddesses and gods, the heart of the galactic central sun, and source creator to assist us with this divine task. We ask for your protection to be placed around our circle. We ask for healing and energetic support to imbibe our sacred circle with the vibration of love to help create a new paradigm for humanity and Mother Earth to make way for the galactic superwave event in our organic ascension process. We ask to clear the deep scar and negative imprint within the planetary grid from the fall of Atlantis. We ask to clear away all suffering this engineered event generated down the timelines of Earth to this very moment. We call upon the gentle, loving, feminine, yet powerful goddess warrior energies of the galactic central sun to shine down a brilliant pillar of blue light through our galaxy. To all points of light in our solar system, then through the top of our heads, through our soul star chakra, down our central channel, to our earth star chakra, then into the earth of Gaia, Mother Earth. And with this pillar of light, we connect to the positive inner earth beings, the priestesses of the resistance and Agartha to activate a pillar of light moving upwards through our earth star chakra along our central channel through our soul star chakra and upwards back up to the galactic central sun and down again creating an enormous torus field of purifying light and divine love. We are now fully activated and connected to the earth and the galactic central sun with this powerful torus field circulating within us. It activates a beautiful ball of light within our heart center, blooming into a white lotus sun with tiny rainbow particles of light glowing like opals, encompassing our entire energy field. It spirals around us with soothing, loving energies clearing our shadows, wounds, and scars 
from all negative situations throughout our existence here on Gaia. It transmutes all pain we have experienced through the origin point of the fall of Atlantis. It erases, clears, and transmutes all emotional pain, negative memories, perceptions, illusions, feedback loops, imprints of suffering, patterns of distrust of each other, and especially distrust of source. It transmutes all of this shadow into pure, unconditional love. As we bask in these energies, we feel a lifting and soothing of all pain ever experienced here on this planet. We open our hearts now to forgiveness. We decree and command with our divine free will to liberate ourselves from the torment, victimhood and suffering and major abandonment we have all been imprinted with which created this original wound. All shadows and negative scars experienced by us and caused by the actions of the dark leading to the fall of Atlantis are now released from all of our energy bodies on all planes of existence from our cellular memory and from the feedback loop we have been stuck in over time by the dark inversion technology. It is now and forever transmuted into light. We now call upon the violet flame of transmutation to purify and clear all distrust patterns, jealousy patterns, fear, survival fear, sexual traumas, abandonment feelings, violence, and any other negative mechanisms used to create victimhood and powerlessness within the human collective since the fall of Atlantis. With the violet flame, we blaze away the fear, the abandonment, the distrust of each other, of the light forces and source. Blaze, blaze, blaze away the disconnect from source and free our minds from false perceptions and illusions. Free our hearts and personality matrix from all remnants of victimhood and fear we create as a result. We now decree and command to activate the white fire of on to assist us to transmute our energy fields into powerful rainbow starbursts of light and activate our ascension codes turned off since the fall. We activate our multidimensional DNA and ascension codes with this powerful frequency to reset our light bodies with the proper ascension protocol. We fuse our hearts with the heart of the galactic central sun and the white fire of on. 
we breathe in these cosmic frequencies into our entire beings. We now merge our heart chakra and our soul star chakra with the heart of source. Heart to heart, we are no longer disconnected from the divine spark of source within us and source itself. We are no longer held captive within the illusion of separation. We are liberated from the tyranny of the disconnect from our beloved I am presence, our source of unconditional love. We are the sacred priests and priestesses of the divine alignment of masculine and feminine wisdom of the universe incarnated on earth. We carry the ascension codes to break the frequency loop from the dark fall of Atlantis. The white fire of on activates our unique codes stored within our light bodies and radiates them out from our hearts and anchors them directly into the Cinnamoni grid and positive planetary grid, the human collective and the heart of Mother Earth. All the ley lines, vortices, and sacred temples upon within Gaia are now activated with these codes. They travel to the crystal kingdoms, fully activating the crystal beings within the earth to assist us alchemically to transmute all negative imprints they carry and transmute all negative imprints within the planetary grid and the energy bodies of Earth. It is transmuted into pure light, pure trust, pure love, pure grace, pure liberation, and pure connection to our I am presence and to the source while activating the new Atlantis upon earth. Like a fiery wave of light, our codes travel around the planetary grid, breaking the feedback loop and infusing it with pure divine light from the galactic central sun and source. Blaze, blaze, blaze the white fire of on as it anchors the light back into the heart of Mother Earth. It reactivates her wells of Kundalini fire and clears away all her pain and suffering, purifying her back to her original blueprint of divine balance and pure higher dimensional love. She now infuses her heart energies together with our hearts and connects to our rainbow galactic central sun energies, creating an enormous rainbow torus field of love spiraling around the planet. It clears the shadow and dark anomaly, replacing discordant feelings with divine forgiveness unconditional love, proper sacred union codes and protocol, 
and benevolent, gentle, peaceful heart energy. As we are still embraced within the arms of the white fire of On, the entire imprint of the fall of Atlantis on any timeline, in the Akashic records of Earth, and any plane of existence is now transmuted into pure light. Now the paradigm of the new Atlantis and age of Aquarius on planet Earth are made manifest. All darkness is transmuted and only the wisdom of the memories remain. We have become the potent positive entry point for the divine light to pour down into us like an open faucet. It pours down through us into the heart of the earth. We are the holy grails and the sacred chalices that fill with the healing liquid light of source. We allow the goddess and God to drink from our cups to nurture their bodies and souls. We are witness to the sacred union of the divine feminine and divine masculine energies of source to again grace Mother Earth and connect her to the cosmic web of light. We are the grails of ascension, the ascension chalices. We fully activate our codes of divine wisdom as we experience the sacred union of these divine energies within our being. We give voice and practice to the blessed ancient ways of Atlantis to be reborn within our beings to create the new paradigm of balance, harmony, peace, and dominion of the light on earth. It is our divine task and mission to hold this light as the vessels to assist humanity to transform into awakened, ascended beings. We are grateful for this blessing and our restored connection to Source. Our divine mission is upon us, Starseeds. Remember your training. Stay strong on your mission. In the beloved arms of Source, we all dwell once again. May all this and better manifest now. I am a being of divine light. So be it, and so it is. So be it, and so it is. So be it, and so it is. I am. Take a few deep breaths and state the intention. I bring this energy with me in my everyday life. Every step I take, I drop these energies into the earth with the intention to anchor the new Atlantis into reality. When you are ready, you can open your eyes.